Okay, so Ferdy Pacheco passes away. He was known as the Fight Doctor, the longtime doctor of Muhammad Ali. He died Thursday in Miami at the age of 89. His daughter Tina announced the news on Facebook saying he was a pharmacist, a doctor, a boxing commentator, a painter, and a writer. But to Tina, he was just Papa. And she's heartbroken. Ferdy Pacheco was a leading boxing analyst on Showtime Championship Boxing in the 80s and early 90s. He worked in the corner of Muhammad Ali. He was very passionate about the sport, very opinionated, very concerned about the fighter's safety. After the thriller in Manila in 1975, where Ali stopped Joe Frazier in their third meeting in the 14th round, where Frazier retired in his corner, unable to see out of both his eyes, he was already legally blind, and Eddie Futch pulled him out. Ferdy began to notice that Ali was showing the first signs of brain damage. The wear and tear of boxing was getting the better of Muhammad Ali. He pleaded with Ali to retire, but nevertheless, Ali was in the ring four months later, fighting four times a year, and not against no scrubs. I mean, Jean-Pierre Koopman, Richard Dunn, I know a little about Richard Dunn, not too much about Koopman, but yeah, they were both Eurobums, if you want to go there. But Ken Norton and Jimmy Young, four fights in that year, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. After such a grueling battle. In 77, he fought Ernie Shavers. Hard schedule, man. Hard schedule. Fought twice that year. And the damage was done. And Ferdy was proved right. But Ali had a lot of hangers on and he kept going. But Ferdy knew what he was talking about. And because of his love for Muhammad Ali, he couldn't stay around. And watched the guy literally destroy any quality of life that he could have after boxing. He stayed on until 1977 when Ali signed up to fight Ernie Shavers. And that fight done severe damage to Muhammad Ali. He won. He won the fight. And um, Ferdy couldn't go through with the Shavers fight and he left the camp. He couldn't go through with it. Pacheco actually told Ali he would stick around if he fought boxers who couldn't hurt him. But, you know, Shavers was in a different class of puncher. Arguably the hardest hitting fighter to ever walk the planet. We're talking about, you know, we're talking about a man with 68 KOs and 74 victories. It's a lot of knockouts, man. It's a lot of knockouts. AKA the Black Destroyer, Ernie Shavers. According to Ferdy, he wasn't a paid member of Muhammad Ali's camp, but he was with Ali from 62, two years after his pro debut. And his association with Ali led to very famous clients seeking his services. But it wasn't a money thing, you know, being in the Ali camp was a passion for Pacheco, like, you know, you can imagine, man, going out to, you know, Manila, Zaire, all around the world, all around the globe, with arguably the most famous athlete that's ever lived. It was a great journey, and he had a great career, not just as Ali's um, doctor, but as a medical practitioner in his own right, and as a boxing analyst and commentator, painter. He was very successful in all them arenas. So, what more is there really to say? R.I.P. to the fight, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco.